I'm Joseph McBrune and I'm a lecturer in art and design history at the University of Ulster in Belfast. Craft has a long and distinguished heritage here in the capital, which is today the important centre for craft makers and small scale design businesses in Northern Ireland. The premier place to see the best of contemporary Northern Irish craft and design is here at the Ulster Museum um, on Stranmillis Road in the south of the city, which was recently reopened after a major £17 million refurbishment. Here you can see contemporary work by many leading Northern Irish craft makers, such as Peter Meanley, Mary Little and Gronje Morton, as well as the best of Irish, British, European and North American work. As well as displays of ceramics, jewellery and textiles, the Ulster Museum also holds a major collection of contemporary glass work from the Czech Republic, including important work by Stanislav Lubinsky and Jaroslava Brichtova. The Ulster Museum also has a shop where you can buy work from contemporary makers. There are two key venues in Belfast that specialise in the promoting and selling of local craft and design. The first, Spacecraft, located in the Fountain Centre, is a shop, gallery and exhibition venue run by the County Down Craft and Design Collective. The Craft and Design Collective represents over 140 makers and businesses in the areas of ceramics, jewellery making and metalwork, textiles, furniture making, wood turning, glass making and print making. Spacecraft regularly puts on small exhibitions and sells work by members of the collective. Spacecraft also regularly takes part in the late night art initiative that sees public galleries in Belfast open until 9pm on the first Thursday of every month. Check out belfastgalleries.com for more information. The second venue is Craft Northern Ireland, which was founded in 2005 to support and promote the development of the contemporary craft industry in Northern Ireland. Craft NI has its office and gallery space in Cotton Court on Belfast Warring Street in the city's historic Cathedral Quarter, where they host several small exhibitions of craft from Northern Irish makers throughout the year. Across the road, Craft and I also showcases works by some of Northern Ireland's leading makers in the elegant surroundings of the Merchant Hotel. In 2007, Craft Northern Ireland launched Craft Month, which sees August as a showcase for exhibitions and events to promote local craft. It also hosts an online directory of contemporary craft from Northern Ireland, which is available to view online at craftni.org. The Wicker Man on High Street, which was established in 1994, sells work by 150 local small businesses and includes a variety of work in ceramics, prints, books and jewellery. Copper Moon on Wellington Street, which was established in 1992, sells jewellery and all sorts of other gifts. At the other end of the spectrum is Equinox on Howard Street, which was established in 1985 and sells high-end designer goods including brands such as Jensen, Alesse and Itala. Batik, located in Belfast's historic gas works just off Cromick Street at the bottom of Cormo Avenue, is another important shop that stocks designer goods. Established in 1980, it is one of the North's premier design retailers, specialising in furniture and interiors largely from Milan. Alternatively, if you feel inspired and fancy making something yourself, you could visit Craft World on Queen Street, which is Ireland's leading craft retailer and which stocks all sorts of material for making almost anything from paper cutting, jewellery making and haberdashery to knitting, paints and dyes and craft books. Belfast City Council also actively promotes the selling of local craft work at St George's Market and at the Belfast Welcome Centre on Donegal Place. So, if you're interested in craft and design in Belfast, there's plenty to see and do.